It is a wonder, a masterpiece of engineering and vision, unique then and now, with its capability to safely and quickly load the world's best coal into the world's largest waterborne vessels. In fact, Norfolk Southern's Pier 6 at Lambert's Point in Norfolk, Virginia, has always projected an outsized impact on the global economy. A third of the nation's coal exports are transloaded at Pier 6. Coal that makes steel and produces electricity. Coal that powers the planet. Norfolk Southern has been transferring coal and coke from railroad cars into ocean-going export and domestic vessels at Lambert's Point since 1884, when it opened Pier 1. In the first half of the 1900s, Piers 2, 3, 4, and 5 featured improvements in speed and capacity as coal demand grew. Pier 6 opened in 1962 as the hemisphere's largest, fastest, and most efficient coal transloading facility. In 1999, Pier 6 dumped its billionth ton of coal, becoming the only facility in the world to have reached that milestone. In short, it is a pier without pier. When the pier was built in, in the 60s, uh, I believe it was uh, ahead of its time. Uh, it was built to and designed to accommodate two of the biggest vessels of those days. Pier 6 was built in 62, was 1,600 feet long. At the time, they declared that the pier was 25 years ahead of the size of the ships. Two years later, they had to add 200 feet to the end of the pier to handle the increased size of vessels. To service those vessels, Pier 6 was equipped with custom loading towers. Until the Space Shuttle's moving tower was built, these two 18-story high loaders were the largest pieces of moving machinery on the face of the Earth. The one thing that I know now is those loaders are built like the Rock of Gibraltar. There are no new piers where you have loaders like that, that are built that good or that are that big. When Pier 6 opened its second loader in July 1963, it became the fastest anywhere, with an operating rate double that of other facilities. The pier is capable of loading 8,000 tons each hour. However, there's no vessel floating that can handle 8,000 tons an hour of cargo coming in. They have to pump the ballast out when they come into port, and they can only pump out around 3,000 tons an hour. The vessels could not handle the cargo any faster than they're getting off Pier 6 right now. And in the 80s was some of our best years of dumping ever. We dumped a lot of cargo and set some records that haven't been met even today. We were loading ships as quickly as we could. 24 hours a day, we were loading two vessels at a time, as much as possible. Of course, there's more to customer service than being big and fast. Flexibility is critical too. Coals from different mines have different chemical qualities, so they must be mixed together to create the precise blend the customer wants. The unique feature of Pier 6 is the way they can blend cargoes. The mixing process is a service provided by the railroad so that our shippers, whether they be producers or brokers, can use different qualities of coal to produce a finished product that meets the specification of their receiver. Our biggest advantage of doing it the way we do it is to is providing a, a blend and a mix that the customer wants. So we can give the customer things they can get at other locations. Everybody else loads from ground storage. And we have no ground storage here in Norfolk. We're, we're actually loading from the cars themselves. And with that, the customer can take multiple classes of coal and divide it up and get the exact blend that they're looking for so when the product arrives, it is ready for use when it comes off the vessel. Clearly, Pier 6 is a magnificent beast. Consider one 48-hour period in early 2012. That's when Pier 6 loaded the largest volume cargo in the complex's history. 159,941.45 net tons. Enough coal to make 207,000 tons of steel. Enough to build 230,000 automobiles. With its size, speed, and flexibility, Pier 6 is a reliable partner for moving coal from the fields of Southwest Virginia 
southern West Virginia, eastern Kentucky, and Pennsylvania to several dozen countries as well as to coastwise American receivers. But understand, the transloading process is just one part of a complex and highly coordinated logistic system. And it takes more than just the massive machinery. It takes the people that run it. The operation of the pier is a coordination between uh, a lot of people, not only here at the pier, but all the way back to the coal fields. It, it's a daily coordination among a lot of people to make sure that you have the correct coal for the correct vessel on any given day. And we're able to quickly adjust uh, our manpower to meet the needs of the customer because we're all in the common goal of uh, keeping the pier running efficiently and, and dumping the coal. I'm most proud of my people, the folks that work here and the jobs that they do and the way they keep themselves safe. Certainly the the, our employees are our most important asset, so we're very careful to make sure that uh, our employees go home safe every day. Uh, they recognize that productivity is important, and they recognize that our customers are the reason we all have jobs, and they do everything they can in their power to take care of the customer. The drive for continuous customer service and efficiency improvements will never flag. But as has been said before, the more things change, the more they stay the same. You know, even though we've improved on the technology, the basic operation of Pier 6 is the same as when it started in uh, 50 years ago. The facility is 50 years old, but the infrastructure is constantly being updated and it's going to be around another 50, I'm pretty sure. Yes, Pier 6 is a wonder. It is the place of world-class service and world-class people. The place that supports the world economy and rising quality of life with a superior product and superior service. A place that makes its mark on the waterfront and skyline and where a long heritage is really just the beginning. It is a classic and that is why we say black will always be in fashion. <laughs>